In a class of 100 students, 73 like coffee, 80 like tea and 52 like lemonade. It may be possible that some students do not like any of these three drinks. The difference between the maximum and minimum possible number of students who like all the three drinks is a pain in the neck question. It's a very tough, very time consuming. Anytime you have maximum and minimum at set theory, we should say, hey, maybe I'll stay a couple of steps away from this. If it's three questions or two questions, it's reasonable. If it's just one and we have maximum and minimum. You find the difference. Fine, not worth it. Coffee is 73. Tea is 80. Lemonade is 52. Totally there are 100. Simple rule of thumb. Add these three. 73 plus 80 plus 52. Right. If it is less than 100, then life is easy. That means that a lot of numbers here, life becomes super easy. That will generally not be the case. 73 plus 52 is 75 plus 50, 125. Plus 80, 205. It's more than twice of this. And so that straight away says, got to be somebody sitting here. This cannot go to zero. Right? Because if you put the numbers here, here and here, each number will get double counted. Even after double counting, it won't hit this 205. So how do we do this? It's a very beautiful algebraic method for this. Call this as y1, y2, y3. Call this number as x. Outside let it be p. Right? Now if I add c, t and l, that is coffee, tea and lemonade. I'm, I'm interested in finding coffee union tea union lemonade this number is 100 minus p chances are we'll put p as 0 and then simplify this but i still want to put p because i said some students do not like any of these three drinks that's given so 100 minus p my starting point is add coffee add tea add lemonade i'm going to do that if i do that then this gets added twice this appears in coffee and tea this appears in tea and lemonade this appears in coffee and lemonade and this fellow gets added thrice. And so this 100 minus P, which is coffee union T union lemonade, should be equal to coffee plus T, which is 80, plus lemonade minus Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 minus 2X. I'm subtracting these because they've appeared double. I'm doubly subtracting that X because it has appeared triple. We do minus A intersection B, minus B intersection C, minus A intersection A, plus A intersection B intersection C. We do minus of Y1 plus X, minus of Y2 plus X, minus of Y3 plus X. X completely disappears. We add X back. Instead of that, we can say minus of Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3, minus 2X. Nice, brilliant. 73 plus 80 plus 52 is 205. We already found that out. So 205 minus 100 is 105. So I'm gonna write this equation again 100 minus p is 205 minus that y1 plus y2 plus y3 i'm calling it as y minus 2x or 2x plus y minus p is 105. And what are we interested in we want to find the maximum value of x and the minimum value of x x plus y to 105 plus p and rewrite it like this and so we want to find a maximum value of x what can the maximum value of x be can we put x as 52 and so 52 into 204 plus 1 is 105 p is 0 105 can x be 52 we put x as 52 here y is 1 these two cannot be one, but I can put one here and then solve this entire thing. Remove 52 from this. And from 100, we'll remove 52. That will take us to 48. And this one goes away. 49. Sorry, 47. These two add up to 47. Should be possible because the entire 52 is taken away. Number is simpler. Should be possible. So x maximum is 52. I put x as 52, everything works out rather well. I cannot put x as 53 because first of all, my lemonade number is only 52. If I put x as 53, y has to be negative. That's not possible. I cannot have y being negative. 
right if i at the same time if we put x as 53 and put p as 1 outside as 1 the moment i put x as 53 my lemonade constraint goes off it cannot be more than 52 with 52 i'm able to work it i'm through done x maximum is 52 x minimum it should be as low as possible right for that the best case scenario is put p as 0 2x plus y equal to 105 put x of 0 y should be 105 we look at the diagram y cannot be 105 there are only 100 people to remind these three cannot add up to 105 that's not possible so the maximum we can go is for y to be 100 put y to be 100 x has to be 2.5 that's not possible but if you put x as 3 y as 99 y is not 100 but x plus y is 102 that's not possible this plus this cannot add up to 102 only 100 people are there so x cannot be 3 either so we have to keep in mind that x plus y is less than or equal to 100 if we keep that also in mind we say hey if, if i keep x as 3 it doesn't work if i put x as for every one unit i increase x i can decrease y by 2 so after drink decrease the total by 5 i take x by x up by 5 x goes to 5 2 into 5 is 10 y goes to 95 2 into 5 plus 95 is 105 x plus y is 100 that can work or x minimum is 5 maximum is 52 minimum is 5 difference is 47 long to super tough question utterly pointlessly time consuming question from an exam context you say oh nice question beautiful i'll do it after the exam leave it and come and finding maximum minimum in this context is getting the funda right getting the idea right putting the numbers in right getting the detail right and getting to the final value right the whole rigmarole is going to take time probably say hey nice but i'm not touching it. Thank you.